Well, well I have you, to, you, it's just, you... Hobo, you have to remember, you're just like, you know, a copy of another person that, uh, that we've already met, you know. There's only 20 of you, there's just a lot of those 20. Whereas every, every Shemitah is sacred. Uh, all right uh right and we were writing down the things that we were about to do next time around so let's just scroll up and read that shall we mine will just build coal so i'm going to build some coal all right twenty development and then my uh daffans are my goals finish liberating malacca and brunei uh, I have another goal for the UK to release Scotland. Angst says my goal is to get to Beta Penis. My goal <laughs> is to fight Tirhut and then finish fighting Bengal to get the rest of my quests that don't involve invading China. Annex Kiva after Pegu, get trade ideas and move my trading capital to Samarkand. Sounds like a plan. Uh, yeah, I would like to kick Spain out of the Philippines. They've got two provinces there. Yes. Yes. Uh, did we get rid of all the Portuguese stuff in no, uh, the Pacific? I think. Uh, did we? I think. What did we missed? Well, maybe we didn't. Let's uh, let's look at diplomatic map we, from Portugal. Spain definitely has more stuff. Uh, the yeah. only thing Portugal has is uh, stuff that affects me. Yeah, I think it's just Spain actually. The, Spain's got some um, got islands. Some I was Gilbert Islands, Tuvalu. Random islands. I'd like to kick them out of. I'd basically like to kick them out of the Indian Ocean entirely, which would include yeah. all. All of the Asian oceans entirely, that includes the Indian Ocean, so all of the islands they have over here as well. Yep, that's my vote. Alright, my friends, shall we unpause? Uh, yeah. All right, when we last left off, good question. All right. Oh, rest in peace, statesman. So I am currently allied to and guaranteeing Sin, so it's possible that Delhi or Gujarat could like draw me into a solo war. But I'm totally uh totally happy going after that. Tributary fleet beset by pirates. Well that is interesting. How do I have pirates that gives me trade efficiency reduction everywhere? I have like 500 kilometers of coastline. Like, how does that affect anything but the coastline that has... Rip, I shouldn't have gotten a coastline, guys. This sucks. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. I also went over a hundred percent over extension in order to bully Kilva. Yeah, there we go. Did I take everything I wanted from Kilva? Can't remember.
I think so. Yeah. So yes, Kill I'm finally able pile. to start annexing Pegu. Yay. It's gone slowly, understandably, because they've got insane development. Nineteen, twenty-five, thirty-two, eighteen, twenty-three are the developments of their individual provinces. So they are, as you could say, heavy hitters. Mm. You know, I'll be honest. Yo. That hurts. Oh, that that's a double pain. Hang on. A uh, slight distraction. Um. So, fun fact: I clicked around Ireland. Uh huh. Despite the fact that there is an Irish culture, apparently none of the Irish miners are marked as the primary nation of Irish culture. Huh. So there's no Irish nation to actually release from Ireland. That's strange. But don't worry, the Cornish still exists. Yay! Oh, cool. They go. What? Yeah, that Scotland doesn't even have their bottom two territories. They have a couple. Uh, hang on. I just saw that one of those was a Catholic uprising. Excuse me. Oh my good godly wigwams. Okay, that happened a little bit. Uh, don't look at China. I'm looking at China, but don't worry. I'm not looking too close. Oh, goodness. I just zoomed in and started looking too close. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I didn't spend my mandate. I did not expect that much. Because uh, there will definitely be some devastation in the homeland for the first time in centuries. <gasps> No forts there, I assume? You've got some forts. No, there is. Just they're, They'll still siege. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But, like, uh, you've, your fort in uh, Wu Chang is going to stop any devastation in Huangzhou. I like how it's Hangzhou yeah, but it's and Huangzhou still... are the two places that are rebelling. Which one did it's you write down, sir? Was it Hangzhou or Huangzhou? Uh, yeah, that one. It's still going to lower the prosperity, which is going to hurt the economy either way. And everyone knows you have to think of the economy. It's the economy, stupid. Where are they going? They're going over there. Can I have those Catholics spread? It hurts my nation to, con to convert you. Dang it. Stop resisting. Oh my Jesus, I did not realize that was going to happen. By the way, I'm just blaming the fact that there's Chen Cheng separatists over there, specifically on the fact that Chang Seng exists. <laughs> so, uh... Because technically, that culture might have Sounds like faded. Sounds needs to do some it. cultural enrichment. Technically, that culture might have faded had uh, that nation been removed off of the map. But oh. someone just wanted to destroy a unique and potentially interesting tourist destination tourist. for generations to come. That's the real struggle right there. So the Mamluks finally got the crap kicked out of them by the Ottomans. Yeah. It was a long time coming. 
Oh boy, did someone ask for peasants? No. No one ever asks for peasants, but it sometimes happens regardless. All right, everyone, please give me bird mana. I, I can appreciate how many people in homeland China are angry at the fact uh, that we conquered a bunch of Central Africa. Understandable. Understandably? Ooh. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't really understand it, but sure, yeah. I could start a golden era, apparently. Would, would not be a good time, I wonder. I might not get another chance thinking about it. Yeah, you probably won't be able to get revolutions, you're going to get more opportunities for it. Like, if you've got the points for it now. Honestly, yeah. I'll probably just pick now mine because off. It lasts 50 years, and... Oops. Yeah. It lasts 50 years, and So the, then, you, you mm -hmm. want to absolutely start it before 1770. Yeah. Hmm. I'll do it now because, uh, like, the I games... I mean, I've got a great leader, I've got a large capital, and I've got an emperor, so, like... All is well, all is right. And I'm not going to stop having three-star generals. Oh, my three-star general just died. <laughs> <laughs> Different general. Darn, it would have been... That would have been very funny, I won't, I won't lie. It would have pulled a very a very notable flanker there, I'll tell you. Ah uh, yes. So I guess there's I mean Fabricating claims is still useful just for getting stuff cheaper, I guess, but nowadays you use imperialism wars. Uh, could you guys remind me yet again, I keep forgetting where the button is to uh, add a province to your parliament, the grant seats in parliament. Uh, top left of the province view. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Jeez, I think I've asked this like five times, I keep forgetting. Okay, so it's good. right next to the name. I can appreciate the uh, Japanese AI style of uh, the moment they see a rebellion on the edge of the border, they just move all of their armies right next to it. Move one army. <laughs> <laughs> because... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting, like, my army's morale is complete down, so. Oh shoot, Georgia's fighting the Ottomans. Oh. Goodbye, Georgia. Yeah. Uh, all of that prosperity in the homeland is gone. The economy is ruined. I'll never financially recover from this. I'm sure you will. Don't you have universities everywhere? Yeah, but universities don't affect the extra money you get from... I prosperity. know, but I'm saying, like, you're a person who had enough money to do this thing. This ridiculous, absurd thing. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I'm I, going to have to sell all of my golden toilet seats. <laughs> I mean, in every single game I play, regardless of my country size, I try to put universities everywhere because I never know where I'm going to develop. I mean, I'd do that if I had the money to do it, which I don't. Well, it sounds like Tibet is an awful place to be. other than those uh, wonderful, very simplistic, but functional. Spoken like a man who's not Who riding the yak train.
am declaring war on Tirhut now. On speed. Or uh, what is speed? Relative speed. Well, uh. I guess Buddhists kind of believe in a supreme entity, right? My face. Uh, my, more importantly, my manpower. Russia is preparing to attack Norway. Russia is guaranteeing the independence of Pegu, but they still have 0% independence, so that's not. I think the biggest loss to this was actually the... Excuse me, hello there, Iceland. Yeah, I know, right? By the way, that's a campaign I thought of, doing Iceland, but making a custom nation there first, specifically so I can have Norse. What do you guys think? It's been done. Well, it's, it's been done. Still would be but... fun, I imagine. Imagine... Icelandic Philippines, fully Norse. <laughs> that means not too far-fetched. Yeah. If, uh, you know, the Norse had got a head start on those uh, pesky Iberians. Well, what do you think, A century or two ahead of time. Could have easily colonized the Philippines. I think it's funny. Like, uh, colonial Scandinavia is something I often do. Ah, oh, our people being... Colonists, it's hilarious. Well, we tried, you know. I mean, I still think it's humorous that Norway does actually have an idea that gives them a colonist to specifically go out and make Vinland every game. I respect the hustle. Where do I still have coal? Problem is, these places have been ruined! Soiled! But I will encourage development anyway. Can I stop getting minor inconvenience for, you know... Another couple months? I've gotten that event like four times. Well done, Pegu. My most con my most competent vassal. <laughs> Just going to uncountry in a little bit, but it's nothing personal. I mean it's nothing for soul for me, it probably feels pretty personal for him.
Oh no, Chang Sheng has entered an alliance with my enemy, Assam. That's definitely uh, going to make me worry. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I swear, if that fort pops at 20%, I'm going to be so annoyed. Alright, coal. No coal anywhere else? I'm converting all my coal provinces to Tibetan culture. Just, you know, preemptively. Oh my god, it, it did. It did. It popped like two days before my relief army showed up. Oh uh, well. Oh my, what is going on over there? Oh, that's right. Um, Norway is still Catholic, aren't they? No. No, oh, they're Protestant. Why is Spain in that war? Papal Urbanese Nationalist War. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, they're at war with Bohemia because uh, they're the emperor. Boy, I sure do love looking at all of these many coastal provinces I got from Kilwa that they elected to build shipyards in instead of any kind of money building.
Murder kill everyone who's not a Tibetan. No, it turns out it's not that one. Well, good news. Um, crisis kind of averted, other than uh, the devastation almost starting to make my mandate go into the negative. Yes. How's your war going, Gauss, or is it over already? It's over. Mm. Yeah. Nice.
think I'm actually preparing to attack Russia. Could we hold off on that just a little? I mean, it, it I, will take I'm a while. ready. To, I, I just have to like finish coring a bunch of stuff. Yeah, like honestly, I could probably handle it myself. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Like it will take like a good while, anyways, to move the troops. So. I have ended the constant rebellions in my lands. Good job. There was much rejoicing. And now I am vaguely tempted to unally Britain so I can eventually. Um... Oh, should I do it too? Naval invade them. I just need to figure out uh, their navy size compared to my own. Uh, the answer. Like, I'm still allied to them, I can just cancel it. Yeah, just. I don't know about fighting the English navy. Just let me know so I can. Yeah, because they have almost as many heavy ships as me, and British traditions make British ships much better. Like, disgustingly better. It was equally disgusting. I just got that, I'll leave the Aryan myself event twice. <laughs> what is equally disgusting, though, is the increasingly large British Sahel region. Can't help tributaries convert. That's sad. Oh, oops. How did I did I wipe? No, I didn't. That's annoying. Georgia or something? I'm guessing so. Rip Georgia.
Oh wait, who am I playing Har Harbor Fees to? Oh yeah, I'm paying Harbor Fees to Tang, apparently. And uh, Tibet is paying Harbor Fees to Khmer. It's so, you know, boats didn't know. Mm -hmm. I'll just cancel that for the time being, since we're not in a war. Yeah. Yeah. In spite of my big land, I am still, like, poor. That big, crappy land. How much money is... Uh, sorry. Currently, I'm losing, I'm losing about... 30 a month, but that's going okay. to go down a lot once I can lower my troops to my over. Oh good, my over uh, just dropped below 100. I am currently making 120 per month, and that's with uh, everything demobilized. Nice. Yeah, I'll be able to fix guys? things once I move my trade capital to Samarkand, I think. Let's have a look at the economy tab. Uh... Just remember, it's Samarkand, not Samarkand. Yep. Well, it's hard yeah, to tell... I need money to move my primary trading It's hard to tell overall how much money you guys are making, but I see Japan and Tang have... Similar total incomes of around 500 to 600 UGATs, which is oh, basically actually, twice, twice mine. Catching up here. That's good. Alright, I'm lowering army maintenance. I think I've done with my rebels. Not done with my hilarious level of overextension. Sorry, not with, of my aggressive expansion, I should say. You can see that everyone in North India hates my guts. And I also have dramatically reduced Tirhut and Assam. Uh, would anyone mind if I do an imperialism war against Fiji, Yanagar, and uh, take a bit of Sri Lanka as a naval base? I'm not doing it right now, but uh, want just wondering. I have an announcement. What's your announcement? Right. It has happened again. What? Rebels? A philosopher from somewhere in North Mongolia. In fact, the former capital of Mongolia has published several treaties criticizing the inequalities in the Tang Empire and calling for a new social contract. Disputing this... the divine right of monarchs to rule as they see fit, he proclaims that sovereignty lies within the people and that the ultimate power over the laws and policy of the land oh, must lie with them. Okay. Um, wow. Center okay. of Revolution pops up in the former capital of Mongolia. Wow. Oh, wait, me? No. I don't... What? Where is it? Uh, Ihuri. Oh my god, there. Alright, that's yeah. gonna be fun. Alright. I say we stomp out the revolution, what do you guys think? I don't know, honestly. Like, I, I think that... I, well, I, I will be honest, in our in our France-Russia game where you supported the revolution, that ended up causing me, like, a world of hurt. And right yeah, now, it, as it a also gigantic, hurt myself. monastic, hurt myself feudal either. state, I absolutely am not going to tolerate that idea. <laughs> like, I'm going to, to get a lot of revolution regardless of what Yeah, happens. yeah, well, let's stomp out the revolution is my point. Already spreading to three provinces where... Yeah, I so I don't really fully understand the whole revolution mechanics, but I'm guessing I'm guessing. Yeah, of course it's spreading me, to Samarkand. Me with um <laughs> my sprawling Indonesian territories, all different cultures and religions. I'm guessing it's probably not a great thing for me to try to embrace revolution. Oh also instantly spreading to my provinces apparently. 
So how can okay. we stomp it out when none of the countries around it are likely to go revolutionary? This is what I'm already looking up. Like, I just want some sort of weak-ass little country to be like, I'm the revolution! And then we can all gather around and kick it until it is reduced to a little pile of pulp and say, yes, you were. Crushing. Do 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 and have crushed revolutionary rebels or raid till the revolution can save I haven't tried a single time that revolution spawned in Europe, by the way. It's always in Asia. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Disasters over revolution group. Such revolution by another nation. Oh. If you're the Papal State or the Emperor of China, you cannot trigger the revolution disaster. Seriously? So what do I do with it then, other than I need to pause the game because my tech, my, uh, things are maxed. So how does Babby do? You know, I'm still gonna, I'm still preparing to fight Russia, by the way. Just saying. Just moving troops. Okay. Yeah, I, just, I, I, don't, I don't care. I need a minute because I had full power on top of everything else. Don't even know for how many times it was ticking. <laughs> um, one thing yeah, that I'm, I'd I'm, like to do is I'd like to help fight Russia really fast here. so that I could get my old territories back. Let me see if those cores have expired. They have, yeah. But yeah, I'm now in a, in a state where I'd be willing to help fight Russia. Specifically, I would do it and then force them to stop supporting Kiva's independence. Kiva doesn't get independence, and also no guy gets its land back. No guy gets its land back sounds yeah. really menacing. To remove Wait. revolution present on your provinces, one must resolve the revolution disaster and have crushed revolutionary rebels or wait till the revolution mechanics disabled. Once disaster is over and revolutionary rebels crushed, since a revolution you own be destroyed. Revolution present be removed, now autonomy problem go back to normal. Uh, however, if another nation close by still has the center, the center will continue to spread the revolution regardless. I'm going to I have so high absolutism, I'm going to see this completely go nuts here. To remove the center revolution owned by another nation. It must be owned by a revolutionary target. To remove the revolution mechanic, you're required to wait 30 years if there's been no target, or 20 years since the last revolution target was crushed. So I I don't know what we can actually do for that. Well, I guess we just yeah, have to than, wait it out. Yeah, other than screw you, it exists, I guess. This is the revenge of the Mongols. <laughs> he Who might have defeated us on the field of battle, but our philosophers will ha 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 ha. <laughs> no one, no one believed that, that that Mongol philosophers would be the destruction of empires. Truly, really, it is a cursed timeline.
artillery bonus versus. I just got two and two more. Yeah, I'm getting. Yeah, I just I'm getting all the revolution here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, look at the Japan. It's going fast here. At this point, Bukara is going to be more like Pukara. <laughs> uh, why does it have to pop up in Europe? In not Europe. Oh, Tibetan Golden Era. Yeah, I felt I'd pop it right now. Since we're going to go to war fairly soon, I need to get some of my income up. Ah, oh, man, I need Diplo Power so freaking badly right now. I'm all about that administrative power. I'm still coring territories from the last session. It's sort of redonkulous. So am I. <laughs> and I uh, need to boost my stability. And I need to build a war chest for my upcoming wars. And, 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 and I need to build more ships. And I need to upgrade the ships I've already got. My main power is plummeting. All very expensive. Oh, yeah, because of the autonomy, yeah? Yeah. Hey, I can't even become revolutionary because I'm the emperor of China. I can't even become it to get rid of it because I'm China. Mm. <laughs> Three more provinces on evolutionary, and it's spreading to three more. So hey, while well, this current run goes into the toilet, what are we going to do from there? <laughs> well, uh. well, I mean, honestly, it's more interesting to have something happen because... At least for me. Yeah, although I am also curious, since it's probably, you know, we're only a couple sessions away, we should probably think about what the next one shall be. Yes. I'm guessing... Uh, Bohemia may be on the table. Mm -hmm. Winks and Daft's general direction. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's an interesting idea, did, but did, uh, did one of you say you'd like to play uh, Bohemia? Uh, I don't think so, did. I know Angst wanted to play, like, Württemberg to go with his ancestral flags and heritage. I can appreciate how Frankfurt has managed to extend itself to a coastline in a similar manner that Tibet has done. <laughs> I will get to the water. Even if the water is technically this wider sea, which I'm pretty sure is like 8 centimeters deep. <laughs> Oh, I see it now. Yep. That's a big Frankfurt. Wow. It's a, also a pretty big Genoa. Oh god, I just noticed Hamburg in the place of Denmark and some of Norway and a bit of Sweden. That's grotesque. Oh, and Prussian Scandinavia isn't? Um, well, I mean, that too. I'm not saying that's not grotesque. I think we'd already start, but we start as quite grotesque. Even worse, they're not even Protestant, they're... Right, I got they're... three more princes going revolution. Reformed Hamburg. How do you actually see the revolution? There's map mode. Hmm. Uh, well, I've just brought it up in Tang, and just because of this Mongolian thing... Um, is it, uh... Japan itself, my capital, everything is... Uh, yeah. It's going to go yeah, through. it converted like Samarkand and a territory next to it, uh, Samarkand and Bukhara and Tibet, and then it's like, eh, oh. these Tibetans, they just meditate in their temples all day. Let's go to Japan. Yeah, I don't, yeah, exactly. Uh, 
Like, just, like honestly, if we, if if we, uh, wow. I mean, I understand you guys wanting to stomp it out, but if I go all red, I'm going to just. We'll we'll have to stomp you out then, but uh, don't fine. worry, we'll let you we'll let you be something afterwards. <laughs> well, the nice thing for me is I don't even have a lot of absolutism. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, mine, mine is like 120. So, for some point. reason, I'm not getting called in when people attack my tributaries. Russia is straight on. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Ardabil's a secondary, that's why it's. Russia fighting Trebizond. Yeah. That makes sense. That was... Yeah, my, uh, my land modifier has just gone from 500 to 432. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, autonomy that hurts. destruction truly is destruction. All right. It's been ten years, and I've almost annexed Pegu. Let's be smart about this and remove all of these extra edicts that are costing me an arm, costing me a small finger. Still nice to not have to lose the finger. Cool. Welcome to the crew, Pegu. Oh yeah, that's right. I am a doofus. That's what I could have been using my power on. Oh no, a rebellion. My first rebellion this whole session. How dare they rebel from the uh, flawless kingdom? I know. that rebelled recently, so I can't convert that. more revolution and it is spreading further. Yoto is now revolution too. Alright, A-game. I'm uh, down Russia. Okay. Uh, I will declare a second war on Russia at the same time. Of course, that's what we do here. Like, honestly, conquest might actually be the way to go, because... Fucking Wait, uh, I mean, 
we it's just a kind of clear shot to the capital, but yeah, it might be better for me to go with a reconquest. Like take back you no know, guys stuff. Uh I mean maybe if that's all you're going to take from them? Mm, it probably is, but let's see. Who's that? I think I'm just that? also allied with Bohemia, so we have to. I, I think will I'm know. I'm just gonna save up some money here, honestly. Oh, well, actually, yeah. Now is the time to do it because both of you have Tech 26, which is a massive increase. Yeah. Hmm. Like, if there was any tech in the entire game, I was gonna say I would say um, get ahead honestly, of time. Honestly, I, th I think I'm just going to do a reconquest war so that I can get my cores on them. Hmm. But alternatively, uh. If you want to do a full, like, what's the effects of Reconquest? Like, I, I'm not uh, going... I, you get I less aggressive expansion, and it's cheaper to get things that are Reconquest, that you're Reconquesting. Yeah, like, I'm... The thing is, like, about Imperialism, I will get war score if you just go for Conquest, but the thing is, you care about power at this point. So it's like... And, like, aggressive expansion will not trade off either. So for me, I think Conquest is just the way to go. Yeah, I'm going now for conquest. Okay. Wait, I can't do holy war. Just so superiority. So you're just so, sh um, um, you're holy warring them? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I, I will probably beat them in the fight, so I'll, I'll try the holy war thing. Okay, I'm gonna go for reconquest. I think I just saved the money at this point for whenever this revolution thing, whatever it happens. And I do understand you guys are annoyed already, but at least at this point, let, let, let's just say I may have more problems with the revolution than, than you guys do. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not affecting me at all. It's um, exactly converting everyone else. <laughs> Specifically, well, if you guys all can of... pour me huge piles of money to make up for everything that I'm losing off of this as well, like we can we can make it work. I mean, the revolution only happened in Bukhara and Samarkand so far. It's yes. uh, happening all of Japan. In yes, return. if you look at, I know you think the, yes, the I, revolution. Oh, oh, no, annoying, I, I, but... I've I've looked. I see what's happening over there. I yeah. just remember what happened to me is Russia, and right now I assume Tibet's gonna play a lot like Russia. Like, my economy, remember how I spent all of that game trying to get my economy to work angst? No, no, no. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm like, on, I'm balanced on, I, I've never been able to fully build up my stuff because I've never had, like, spare amounts of money. I'm currently 6,000 ducats in debt. Holy oh, heck. How do you even get that much debt? Uh, by being yeah, by being a large nation where a single debt, single loan is fourteen hundred dollars. I would, um, I would send you some money, but I'm um, planning to go to war soon. So, okay. um, everything I'm doing at the moment is really expensive. Understandable. I just upgraded a fleet, which cost about two thousand gold. Is that helpful, me lord? Sorry? Uh, chaos. Uh, hang on, I didn't see any diplomatic offers pop up. What's the deal, sir? 
Oh, it might have been automatic. Yeah, it was automatic. Ah. Uh, you may want to look at your current income. Yes, uh, that has me in an area where I am not immediately dying, which is very nice. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's technically an improvement. <laughs> Three more province flip to revolution, and three more are flipping. All right. Oh man, I think I'm just about to win a battle against 160,000 Russians. That's good. Wow. Yes. Oh man. Okay, let me screenshot this. I just killed so many Russians. Remember, friends, no Russian left yeah. after this battle. Uh, Alright, let me just take this little screenshot right there. Clip out the important stuff. Boom! That looks pretty great. Yeah, so I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> At the cost of, uh, yeah, six, like 20,000 of my guys, I killed about 50,000 of theirs. Wow. I like your hat. Why, thank you. I didn't realize Tibet had a unique u troop type. Oh yeah. You, you, oh yeah, you have to have the DLC for that, because for me, they're standard... Uh, standard Chinese-looking, or Asian-looking dudes. Can't say Chinese looking dudes, or can I? Mm, you probably can. I don't know which. I don't know who I'm offending. Ah! Probably no one. Yes, there's absolutely no such thing as Tibet. Yeah, you just lost a lot of social credit score right there, my friend. <laughs> I thought that would be gaining social credit score for saying there's no such thing. Oh well, yeah, Tibet. yeah, but you acknowledge Tibet beforehand. It's not going to look good if you say something then correct it as if like it's a careful system to control what people say in the public sphere. <laughs> you can't make it seem like that is the case. That's just wrong. Have you fought any Russian armies yet, Japan? Oh, that's being slow here, but again, it's Russia. Uh, do you guys need me, uh, well, not necessarily need me, but would you like me to join the war? I can send, uh, maybe... Oh, the Bohemians yeah, just showed up. Welcome, of course, but, uh... I could easily, easily send about 50,000 troops with a two-star general. Oh my goodness, these Russian troops are paper! That's good. Oh, I guess mine are two at the moment. No, uh, I It's a rotation. Well, I'm setting up to fight someone who is not paper. Let's make it poorly. I just got a paper cut. <laughs> so... Let's see. France is threatened by me. Which implies I'm significantly stronger than them. Saying that about France is a little bit odd. By the way, I am. Uh... Actually, would I be able to use them in this? I would. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use Britain against Spain, and nothing will go wrong from this. I'm sorry. Oh, I did an exploration with France, and I'm still 34. Why is my trust with them pants? When was I at war with France? Well, yeah, I, I fought them at one point and tore them away from Russia. That's what I did. And I did take some of their colonial holdings at some point. Just a second, I need to do a maneuver. Alright, uh, so Japan, just keep on making your way over if you can. Uh, yeah, I'm just watching. Yeah, have you fought any of their armies yet? 
I think I'm I no. think I'm getting pretty close to draining them though, but I did lose a lose a handful of battles here that I'm gonna well, just fighting you at the moment. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they're it fighting me. Empty. They've got they've got three hundred thousand people in no guy right now. Yeah. So if you're wondering why they're not fighting you, it's because they're fighting me right now. Yeah. Sounds about right. I have to be careful here not taking any provinces that... Uh, where is your reconquest again? My reconquest is no guy's chorus. Okay. I think with the phases going here, maybe imperialism, but I don't will take forever. While together, my potential enemy vastly outnumbers me, um, a large amount of that is their colonial nations. So I'm not 100% sure how well this will go. You can probably guess what I'm trying to do right now, since I see they have no manpower. And I, taking a tech ahead of time, I know me doing that. New home people. And indeed, of every people. Call in Britain, hopefully they will at least distract people enough. And imperialism.
British are coming. Are they now? Yeah, they've actually landed. Uh, Tell me yo, gents. They've actually landed on Spain, which is interesting. Did not expect that. I did kind of screw up and almost forgot that, hey, I should probably take land from Portugal, so they're not cozy deep, which is a problem in and of itself, but I'll solve it. Hopefully. Oh my god, actually, kind of initially winning this exchange, that's crazy. You're right, the Russians are paper. Guys arriving though, come on. Oh no, he's not gonna make it. I think, no, I actually lost the war uh, exchange. Oh god, that's bad. Okay, um, the revolution is now spreading in my own land. Yeah, it's been spreading in my land too. There we go. No, wait. Well, literally, I had the, the center of revolution happen, and then it spread. It started to spread to everyone else instead of my own, my own stuff. And this is also gonna stack by. God damn it. This too shall pass. It's annoying. Don't worry, I think we're close to draining their manpower. Yeah, that was a whole idea. No, it's working. They're walking all the way back to Manchuria. Okay. Oh, are you checking their piece off? Or? No, quote, no, that's quote, not it. Quote unquote offer. Oh no, uh, the... your army is retreating to IC. Yes. Ah, there is the Spanish army. It's going to instantaneously delete the British, because the British don't know how to actually fight. I mean, they, I don't think they got a single military-based idea group. Ah, oh, they got offensive quantity. Which is super useful. So I won my war against Vijay Yanagar. Uh, there's a couple of rather large battles involving around 100,000 troops. Oh, you did decide uh, to uh, take Sri Lanka after all. Yes. In the Maldives, which technically part of the Indian Ocean Islands, I suppose I shall accept. Um. If there's a problem, I'll be happy to uh, exchange it. Think of the areas being all nice and tickly. <laughs> Since one's not being a thing. Yeah, around here, never. We don't do that around here. I am not going to be able to get stuff from Portugal in this. Can I just have your money? And your uh, assurance that you're going to unally stupid people. I need you gone. I can finally embrace the enlightenment. Um, 
Why is it spreading so slowly? I even forgot that was a thing this whole session. Super expensive, it's like 4,000 gold to uh, embrace. Might actually leave it a little bit, see if it gets any cheaper. How's your war with Russia going? Uh, it's going alright. Well, it's not going excellent. But, uh, oh. oh, I'm sorry to hear that it's... Well, um, as, as, as I changed. was taking the heat off of you early in the war, now you're taking the heat off of me later in the war. Well, the problem is that I lost that war when, and I need to, I need to, I lost the battle, I need like the battles for Moscow, but it's okay. Ah, uh, yes. I'd say it does look like all Siberia is occupied by Japan at this point. And, uh, yeah, Russia, Russia still has armies out there, but they're not very impressive. They never push very deep into Tibet. And I'm about to get 10% war score with them, and then I'm going to see what I can make them spit out. This is a bad exchange, plus you will go well. Massive war. Oh yeah, I have, uh, have all, this, all the soldiers there. Oh, I somehow rolled the river bonus. That's strange. Wait, why are they better than me now? Okay, that's better. Oh, strange. Yes, and they're engaging. Yes, they are. Hey game, I'm just saying, but now's not the time to start having sizable rebellions there.
retaken my northern fort. That's not good. I did not need the Taipei Rebellion right now. My boats are kind of across the ocean. Oh, that's the revolution spreading in China in earnest now. Take back my revolutionary angst. I didn't... I didn't want it. <laughs> oh, did they wipe that? Oh my god. It was actually quite bad. Done screwed up now. You want to attack this force in Yugan? Thanks. Let's move in and attack this force in Yugan. It's about to get split. I actually need to go for this Mata army soon. How did they hold that battle so hard? Well, that hurt. But handed to me, even though I have better troops. Not entirely sure what happened there. Oh, would you look at that? I don't have any manpower. Fantastic. They just stack wiped like uh, 50k troops. Oh, no. Again, after being paper first. Jeez. Yeah, on the side, I'm winning on like over a river with. I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, I see that gigantic battle that's happening at that Jatomsk right now. Yep. They also won that too somehow. Just fighting Russia is just pain. Like, it takes forever to move anything. Not sure. Maybe the army tradition does explode or something. Do you not do that? That's all you want. Screw you, you stupid Italians! 
Go, why don't you go mama your last Mia? <laughs> Okay, the colonial nations having landed on mainland Spain is exactly what I was afraid of. And yet here they are. Alright, I have a, too much moving over here and too many things I need to do for five seconds. Uh, I'm going to... let's see. Uh, I think I could probably get the piece that I want, but I'll keep on fighting so that I can also keep messing around with Russia while uh, Angst is working. What are we yeah, fighting my, for? My, my max troops troop uh, members also, uh, just went one of the cave below them. Uh, okay. So. Okay, I just needed breathing room for a second because I was about to get attacked and uh, in a place I wasn't prepared. But I fixed that. And, uh. Also, technically, the Tibetans have now crossed into Europe. I really wish I could oh, just wow. tell, tell the Pope to screw off. You can. Martin Luther did it. You can too. Oh, were, were you ready? I was ready. Thanks. Let's go. Just realized, oh yeah, I hit the unpause button before asking. Ah. Dang, damn it. Mother trucker. Ah, that hurts. Oh, get those reinforcements in there. Those reinforcements in there fast are. Yeah, you better run, you stupid Italians. Really have mama your last Mia now. Hey, does anyone have some spare manpower? Just sitting around? Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> Dude, the, oh, the main issue is uh, getting it to the people. What is? That's incredibly annoying. Well, at the very least, that was a battle against the Pope, so that helped kick the Pope out. Help in trying to kick the Pope out. Oh, I see you're fighting Spain. Sorry, I just realized that. Yeah. It's where all of my manpower is going. I realized they didn't have any. Just, um... Their colonial nation certainly did. Hmm. And Britain, um... is keeping up their traditions of fighting in the most... for the most useless rocks in the world. 
by sieging Africa. I could say, do you know how many royal coronets you can keep in that little useless rock, as you call it? <laughs> Dozens! I'm very close to being able to occupy Moscow at this point. Too bad Moscow's not the capital. Where is it? I think it is. They didn't move it, don't I just thought the AI would usually move it to St. Petersburg once they got the chance. Okay. If Pegu was still alive, Pegu would have sieged it five years ago. <laughs> no, Pegu isn't still alive. Pegu's not okay, real and can't hurt you. <laughs> All right, what is my second to last idea group going to be? I don't even know what I want. Hello, Nizhny Novgorod. Because sometimes one Novgorod isn't enough and you need Nizhny of them. Uh. It's a joke because Nizhny Novgorod means nine Novgorods. I suppose the one good thing is that I still regain um, 2,500 people a month, which is a positive. Although I'm probably going to have to torch. I'm just going to delete this army that I made like five years ago. I oh, know my tanks just lost the Battle of Kursk. Uh huh? No, it's like, that's a joke. Yeah, I'm fine. Boo times two. I think you're doing quite well if you have tanks. Yes. I mean, I'm no expert on things. But... I could scarcely Thanks. imagine, uh, tangently related, I can scarcely imagine us, like, playing the extended timeline mod, where eventually you do get to modern day. <laughs> and cavalry is represented by tanks. Mm. Or other way around. I don't know why the, uh, this wall I don't understand at all, but okay, sure. Silly Portuguese, why are you trying to rebel? I'm almost into Finland. <laughs> wow. I can't help but notice that the Russians are some like. Hey, uh, coming coming back in from the front that I've just totally occupied. Oh my god, do I, have to, do I have to turn away from my invasion of Europe? Well, I'll just send some guys to siege down Moscow, just so they know who the boss is. Actually, pause for a moment. Tactical talk, angst. Where are you at? Uh, I just wiped five, five, uh, 50k in the east, and that's okay. about it. I'm going All back right. over. Are you, are you planning on making peace soon? Because right now, I could totally easily no, I'm, get... I'm a minus 45 in that they're, they're demanding shit. Okay, so, so no. I'll, I'll keep on fighting them. Thank you. Wow, I'm seeing the Tibetan occupation of, uh, like, Most of central Europe. Russia. Yeah, at least you, you have uh, complete, they completely destroyed their, their war will, their war, uh, war support. War support? War enthusiasm? Yes. That. But yeah, that's going to be less aggressive. Oh, are they really going? Oh, they're not. Oh, you know, in musing, what I can do. Oh my, well, those guys just came out of the ether and stack wiped to 30,000. Fan freaking tastic. That's what I Oof. wanted to see. Bohemian Crystal. I swear to God, you guys better hold this. You guys better hold this. You guys better hold this. Ah! 
Okay, they held this. <laughs> Russia is now trying to beg me for peace. Oh, they're also finally below my soldier count again. You know, for about 30 seconds I mused about making the age-old EU4 joke, Schism, what schism? by uh, taking Rome as a non-Abrahamic religion. But I didn't go uh, religious ideas, so I don't think I'd be able to co be able to convert Rome. Or could I? I like how the Turks are scared enough of me that they're helping the Russians by letting them through their land. Really? A2, Turkey. Screw you, Pope man! I have a question. What would be the meaniest nation to release out of Spain? Just, uh, er, um, Catalonia. I think so. Yeah, but I did Catalonia last time. Yes, and that was a good meme then, too. <laughs> I, mean, I could do, like, Galicia, or even Granada. Aw, oh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Releasing Granada, but having them be Confucian. I don't even know if they could do Andalusia if they're not Muslim, though. Uh, well, screw you too, Ingerland. I guess I'm not getting the Pope today. Because I really can't deal with his army. I really don't want to deal with his army, rather, I guess is more accurate. Could we just go down to speed one at a moment? I'm fighting a really complex two front war right now. Oh, fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy, not not able to do 5D E4 chess. I'm fine with that. I'm comfortable with my capabilities. One day, Pope Man, but not this day. Alright, since it's on one speed, I can look this up. I 
Oh, okay, well that's disappointing. You do have to be a Muslim to form Andalusia. I was going to make Andalusia happen, but make them a tributary, but apparently I can't. Sad. Sag. to occupying Moskva. Whatever I'm playing next time, I'm playing something that doesn't have to fight in Siberia. It sucks as well. <laughs> uh, next time you'll play in Germany and then you'll have to fight Russia anyway. <laughs> the Urals take absolutely forever. Well, I've turned my army around and I have uh, raffle spanked the Russians a couple of times. I'm up above 50% war score, so at this point I should really be taking something very painful out of them. Mm. Be good. Well, I will not... Whatever happens here, Russia, I will not offer your territory. Don't mind a white piece, but I will not give the giving you territory. I only get one more accepted culture. I was going to save it for one, wasn't I? I was going to save it for Swahili. Yeah, that's right. We discard tea, civilization will swiftly follow. Indeed. Hmm, do I want 50 administrative power or do I want $4,000? It's truly a tough, tough choice. Um, $4,000 sounds uh, pretty good. I just sieged down the... to Moscow. Wow. <laughs> uh, and a uh, Novgorod is about to fall. <laughs> also, some am I looting something? Probably. I just said I'm looting their. Just statistically threat? speaking, yes. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. Novgorod has fallen. Lol. Hello. Seventy percent war score. Here I come. What do you have left at this point? You have been all the way down to one. There's nothing left of the Russian army that you sent bouncing back towards Europe. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's... <laughs> kind of it's annoying like, okay. since I, I needed the war score, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Well, if I could just... I mean, you know, I could have also pieced them up, but you fight them on your own, so... <laughs> yeah, I... This is... Yeah. We'll have to accept this. Yeah, I'm like, it, it is all this. It's fine. Yes. Um. Like, the, basically, my reinforcements and take forever to get across the uh, Siberia is basically equal to the Russian army. The problem is just like getting the engagement that I need. Oh, let's see here. Oh, well, there goes my. Other plan. Or does so, it? Um, I'm planning to attack Malacca in the immediate future. Um, Brunei is aligned with the Ottomans, so I'm I'm not going to co um, what do you call it? Co belligerent? Co CD them? Brunei? Yeah, I think I will fight Brunei, obviously, but um, yeah. Um, I'll make do with them being just an ally of Brunei. Uh, sorry. Malacca. Yeah, that's fair. 
And maybe, um, I don't know if there's any shared interest in fighting the Ottomans at a late date. If not, uh, that's also cool. I'll just make do. But yeah, you know, I don't fancy uh, dragging the Ottoman fleet into the Indian Ocean and having to deal with that. Well, this is not a hundred percent war score. Um... I'm just gonna go and um, take a quick buffing break while I while I pause. Oh, I was just pausing for this. I'm an idiot. Is what I am. Holy crap. Ugh. I hit the reset button on what I wanted at some point. I don't know if I was able to take so much land. Uh, oh well. I weaken them, I beat them up. That's all that mattered. I didn't take the islands, I just took mainland. For I'm amused how there. Russia can get war score by blockading their own coast that I occupy. <laughs> that is like fairly funny. Also, yes, uh, as you can see, um, my occupation through Central Russia is a bit of a time. Oh. It looks great. It is, as they say, very nice. Who says that? The Kazakhs, or so I am led to told by a documentary I saw a few years ago. It, it, it feels good to be kicking up Russia in the name of the uh, of the Emperor of All Under Heaven. Yeah, Iggy, I'm just a. Uh, if they if they just can just wipe peace with me at some point, I am uh, about Are you sure you're not from it. So, so you went um, for yeah, a war that required you to win battles, eh? Yeah, so that's why this is awful. I should just yeah, you should conquest. have you should have gone like I, I went for an easy CB, and I could have gone. Yeah, to be fair, like to be fair, like the first battles went excellent. The problem is that the problem is that the first I can't battles... get to their armies. So, like the, I that that's the problem. The I, first battles forever. were also um, the ones where they had three hundred thousand guys invading no guy. Yeah. So, like both of us did badly for certain definitions of badly when they focused entirely on one of us, but they couldn't handle the double war. Yeah. Like, honestly, oh, I didn't need the area. I just wanted to fight them because I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> so it's, I don't, I don't care about like a, uh, the white piece. That's what it comes to. Let's look at the revolution map. Well, it doesn't isn't spreading to me anymore. It's spreading to Tibet. All right. Yes, mostly me. Can we just get like revolutionary Changsheng or something? I mean, I'm <laughs> hoping that that happens so that we can then kick the shit out of them. Yeah. My other thing I was considering is if we force Russia to release Mongolia or something like that. Like, I might. Actually, no, I can't. Well, you'll have to make your peace deal with Russia first, okay? Yeah, let me see. They don't have any. I don't have any Mongolian, Mongolian land. Well, yeah, yeah, mine. but I might be able to force release like the uh, the Ostiaks or something. Maybe. Do we see any Ostiaks? I think maybe. the only way that we potentially would be able to fix that is being releasing. That is releasing Mongolia, but... Ugh, Mongolia, that's so much land. At this point. It's so no much built-up land, too. Alright, well, anyways, I'm good to unpause whenever. Are you back, Daft? Yeah, yeah. Hello, can you, can you hear me? Yep. Hello, hello. Wanted to be sure that was Daft. Okay. Well, um... Hello, did Norway just become a country? Um, yes, I, I, yeah. I think well. Russia might have done... Some, what What did it, Norway come to? Um, Iceland is now split between Norway and Iceland. Okay. Oh, wow.
Okay, finally getting to see the Russian armies again. Leon? Oh, that's a meme. Okay. Oh my god, Spain. Yep. I'm giving all of the land that isn't Portuguese to Leon. I'm just um, improving relations with them so that way I can force convert them so they're happier with it. And then I'm giving the land since that'll lower their liberty desire. Really? Peace off from Bohemia. Uh, do you mind if I, buy, if I piece them out, Iggy? I don't care what you do. You can do whatever. I, I, I told you. Right. You make the deal. You make the deal first. Yes. Okay. to take care of Kasak. Okay. Kasak, Kasak. There's no guy. Should not, I shouldn't take any no guy. No, no guy. No, obviously, no. Don't don't yeah. do anything. What what are you what are you planning on? Uh, yeah. No, if if it's a no guy core, please, please. Yeah, exactly. Or, or claim. Exactly. Please don't go anywhere near it. I'm definitely avoiding that. Well, I'll, I'll leave areas like tour guide for you to, uh, to, like, occupy on your own. Yes. Also, I'm sorry, Daft, I screwed up. Sorry? What? I didn't realize I had pressed the reset, uh, peace treaty button at some point. I wanted to get all of the islands from Spain, and instead I just got a bunch of mainland Spain. Oh, oh well. So not until 17.44. Well, I think that works, because I'm going to fight Malacca and Brunei, and then, uh, while well, I'm waiting for that war to cool down, um, we can fight Spain again. Maybe. Potentially. Actually, huh? Thirty-six. Okay, Russia's spitting out a okay. huge pile of new manpower out of their lands. I can deal with it. It's just gonna be really epic and annoying. Yeah. Yeah, all of them are focusing on your troops, which is completely fine. Yeah. Like, it means I have more time to get a move here. Okay, they're down to demanding two provinces now. Cool. Obviously, don't surrender anything to them. I'm definitely not doing that.
Nice. I just besieged Kazan successfully. My troops didn't actually board my ships. That's annoying. You, uh, you forgot to give them their tickets to get on. Yeah, you know, it seems so. All right, now Leon is uh <laughs> just looked at the air. The air's name is Carlos Lu. Unfortunate. Excellent. <laughs> All right, I'm about to take out Kiev. Uh, that is several measures of cursed. I mean. The, the doubly cursed slash funny thing about it is that the only reason I'm still fighting this war is to help out my buddies in Japan. <laughs> Duke Yu Hang Lu with the heir Carlos Lu. Amazing. Everyone loves Carlos Lu. Each that is us asking for Maya and I'll go still, that would not happen. I just won my siege and thrown the lag. Oh, 
you're familiar with the uh, story of Blurst. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, Confucian Leon is pretty blurst. Oh, oh blessed. Definitely blessed. So I'm tapped on manpower now. Just so you know. That's bad, I'm sorry. I'm I'm hemorrhaging it, but I've been yes, you know, murdering well uh, professionalism. So that's what it is. Well, at least I haven't had to tap professionalism, so I got that going for me. That's good. Yeah, I like yeah, losing, I losing one hundred thousand troops to random stack wipes kind of does that. Filling those rebels. I just realized something. And even do it on purpose. I just... Leon is shaped like a T for Tang. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it is. You're doing a... Uh, Alright, I'm just defeating oh. the last <laughs> a a army under Demian Kudasov in the Battle of uh, Ustation. Bless you. Bless you. I don't know about the famous battle of Ustuishna. Oh, sorry, I thought you were sneezing. Uh, is that is that a place? <laughs> it's uh, south of Lake Onega. Oh, I see it. Yeah, Ustuishna. Ustu Ustu yeah, anyways, Ustu uh, there's, a, there's a very bloody battle going on. I'm getting called mm. for peace right now. Alright, um, let's look at the score. I am five behind. Uh, they are at 170, so I know only against Russia now and not against anything else here. Free to wait, actually, wait. If I, if you peace out while I'm standing in the in the territory that you occupy, will they, will I get blacked? Uh, yes, you will get black flagged. Okay, just a moment then. You are free to call for peace or whatever, but just a moment. I need to. Well, their peace preference is going to change. Uh, as soon as I make peace. That is fine. That is... Wait. Oh, I just lost the battle of Ustuishna. That's very annoying. Oh. Okay, I'm at minus 50,000 men. I am uh, I am moving out of the call for peace area as soon as possible here. Um, Basically, I just need to turn some armies around for one province. Of course. Even in quote unquote losing the battle, I didn't really lose the battle per se. Hmm. Okay. And the army is knowing Cassane. Needs to go to Grass, uh, Klasov, and then Ishkar. And when it is in Ishkar, I can. You can peace out. Um, I have a question. Is it better to do an imperialism war or uh, conquests on uh, on rival? Uh, imperialism. Or you take, can yeah, I as long as you can get the capital, imperialism. Mm. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's cheaper to take the land, and it doesn't cost any diplomatic power to do so if you don't have a claim. I mean, oh, obviously, look at this. if you're. Bohemians are trying to get back Novgorod. Yeah. Obviously, okay. if you're declaring one, more one like Brit right. Britain for Ireland. Just a second. I'm just going to see if I can. 15th of, 15th of August is the time. Cool. 
Let's see. There's not to confirm this. And one. Sank the Malakan flagship, that's a good start. Three, four, five. You can peace out. Have you peaced out? Uh, no, I'll just fight them on my own. I, again, uh, it is probably best if... I like, can only peace out at this point if I... Uh, if I uh, accept them taking territory. Okay, well then I'll keep on fighting. And I... Honestly, like, they have, at the moment, a third of my manpower. I think it's... Okay, okay. so you, you can you can take them at this point? I think I'll, so. I'm just going to fight one more battle here, because I And think... this also means I can get some more war score and stuff, so it's probably completely good. Fine. Okay. Uh, let's... Unpause. I'm going to fight one more battle at Novgorod. I've got a little bit more stuff I can siege down here. Actually, this is basically to see how much now. I can punch out yeah, of the Bohemians. Yes. Like, I'm just standing in my own, in my own co uh, covered territory at this point, though, so it is as soon as you can uh, okay. peace out as better. Alright, I've got a battle still happening, but okay, the battle just ended. I'm at 77% yeah. war score. I can't really get anything that's any good at all from the Bohemians, so I'm not going to bother separate piecing them. Okay. Return cores. Azov and Astrakhan to Crimea. Buzaluk to Nogai. Oh, I could return things to Norway. Hmm, I'll think about it. It's probably kind of useless to do that. Okay, so I'm getting a bunch of things returned to no guy. Alright, and how much is that costing? Oh, I can make them release Kazan. That's funny. That's very funny. Okay, so they'll accept this. Uh, I'm also going to call for war reparations and transferring trade power. Actually, what would transferring trade power from Russia to me do? Uh... Not much. Maybe maybe if they're draining they're draining from some account at the moment, so I think Yeah, maybe... yeah. Uh I'm going to restore Norway. Okay. Just Norway. because I can. Restore way. I mean the weaker they are the better it is for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up, I, I just noticed the Tibetan troops in Norway, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, I'm not playing. I'm not yeah, playing so... around here. <laughs> how did All they right. even how did he even go over there? Uh, I marched through, and eventually they cut off the route that I came through. Wow. It, uh, it feels just like home up there, honestly. Wow. Alright, uh... Is, uh... Okay, so I'm going to force them to release... Oh man, releasing Georgia would also be kind of nice. But I think rather than Georgia or Circassia or something like that, I'm going to force them to release something on my border. So I'm going to force them to release Kazan, and then I'm going to... You know what? Actually, can't quite do that. I'm going to see if I can just yank some territories then. Yeah, you're taking Bashkiria for not going yourself, right? Yeah. Here's the ironic part. Maybe you can part uh, of... transfer Slathaust to no, no guy if you can't take it otherwise. 
Slathaust? Yes, it's the last yeah, part of Peshkiria, which... Uh... Here's the ironic Yeah, I'm part. taking Slathaust. Um, good. Yes, but... With high amount of absolutism, yeah. it is actually significantly less war score to take the land and then release it as a vassal. Or give it back to a vassal because it's using your absolutism, whereas if it was seized by, say, no guy's land, if you had ceded it to no guy before the war, it would be using no guy's absolutism. Therefore, it would technically cost more to take in the peace deal. Uh, yeah, but this is also reconquest. Higher. This is a reconquest war, so I've got cheaper reconquest. Yeah, like, th this whole piece only cost me 51 diplo. That's fair, just if you're going to release any other nations, maybe better for you to take the land and then release them as vassals if that's and then you can break the vassalage to tributary them or something. Okay. Uh, oh the this deal is exactly on the mark of they're not going to accept let, let, let me see if I uh, get rid of returning cores to Norway. I wish they were all organized by country. That would make this easier. Especially because I've got Norway and Nor Guy. Or No Guy, as they would say. No Guy and No Way. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, that land that I'm looking at, I wouldn't be able to get it anyways. I could just yoink a whole pile of land, extending myself all the way down to the Caucasus if I wanted to. But I feel like that's the, the tentacle is not the move right now. I don't know. I think the tentacle moves have been very good. I and know you're fond of moves. tentacle moves, sir. I exactly. saw your new nation. Also, I'm Japan. Right here. So basically, my Stellaris run will just be like an extension eh, of this one. <laughs> <laughs> First, the Japanese created anime. And then, they created anime with Tibet, which is really weird. And then, they used Tang's military power and Khmer's command of the ocean. I should just cut them in half. <laughs> well, I could do that. Hmm. I could cut Russia in half. I mean, it wouldn't actually help me that much, but I think you should do it because it's funny. I don't think... I mean... It would definitely screw them up a lot. Sadly, yeah, I can't, I can't do you. it by taking land that you have occupied. But I am able to draw a line that will cut them in half. But it means I don't take Kazan. Can I draw something with your other? With your, nah, uh, nah. I, I'm, I'm not going to bother going for cutting, cutting them in half. It's not worth it. So instead, I'll go for this. Okay, so that's going no, to be yeah. 91. And then I'm going to return as many Norwegian cores as I can. Starting with the uh, most expensive ones. All right, I'm almost set. So uh, I can't get all of those things returned to Norway. Hello. Hello. But I can get some stuff that will mess them up a little bit. Okay, there we go. I've got my uh, I've got my PCL set up. Hello, welcome home. Thank you. 
Okay, here we go. So, uh, Russia is going to give me a bunch of stuff. They're going to release all of No Guys and Crimea's cores that they own. Um, they're going to pay me war reparations and transfer the trade power. And they're going to return one thing to Norway, and it's going to cut off all of Norway from them. And uh, then I'll just see what, all, what other bits of money I can get out of them. Okay. Alright, here we go. Alright. Wow, something just happened. Um... A new, new Tibetan tentacle appeared. Uh, of a sort, yes. I see. Oh, it's right, only. Uh, I'm unpausing now, okay? Yes, go ahead. I see Norway is back in Norway. Yes. Uh, I wasn't able to get as much as I wanted because I realized that my own self interest outweighed the uh, potential benefits of making a hilarious Norway. Let's look at there. And everyone thinks I'm so wonderful for releasing all the stuff they're leaving the coalition against me. Oh wow. Also, no guy, you think I'm wonderful now, don't you? Uh, annexation time. You you have now outlived your purpose to me, no guy. Gotta say those cores return to Crimea make my eye twitch. Yeah. Wow, I'm winning a battle against Malika, uh, even though I was outnumbered by about 10,000 troops. Well done. That's, uh, yeah, I don't know how I managed that. It's the nice That's a very, uh, and very unusual for, uh, for me and my standards. Winning wars? What is this? Oh, I was going to ask if you co-CB Brunei, and then I realized, oh yeah, they allied the Ottomans, so you probably did. That's, yeah, that's what I was saying in, uh, in chat. That was going to be a bad time. Yeah, I remember you saying that now. I am the smarterest. So the area that I grabbed up in that region basically gives me access to a nice pile of forts. Oh, I kind of feel sorry for Malacca, actually. They, <laughs> they managed to accidentally engage um, both of my main fleets. Uh, one was in the process of moving somewhere else, but they just happened to blunder into both of them in the same province. What the heck? Oh my god, uh, Bengal is invading Indochina with 100,000 troops. I was not expecting this all of a sudden. I was not. Are you sure that's all Bengal? Wow. Uh, how, do, how do they even get over here so fast? Oh. Anyway. I'm surprised they can feel 100,000 off of that much. Alright, well, this changes things. Argabel, send your tribute, my little friend. 
or else. Uh, oh, and uh, we can go back up to speed too, I imagine. Uh, yeah, we can, uh, I guess. Like, I would actually burn not quite yet, if that's okay. Undo. <laughs> Yeah, speed one max will be good for me for a few months, if you don't mind. There's, there's quite a lot going on now. Going. Well, I just need a casual 5,000 ducats to upgrade my fleet. Yeah, ouch. Here's my little experiment now. My current trade income is 27.6, and I'm going to move my capital to Samarkand. Well, my trade capital, that is. And we're going to start moving things around. I'm pretty sure this is going to improve things a lot. Well, prosperity has returned to the mainland, so that's something. I like how the revolution is entirely ignoring the Khmer. God, we have to get on boats to go bother them? Oh, we already sailed a boat once to get over to Japan. Oh no, I'm uh, losing against Malika. What's going on here? I thought I had a lot more troops. Well, I'm actually win this. Yeah, there are 10,000 coming in, so it's because they think they're going to lose.
This has increased my trade income by 40. So it's just a little bit. Well, things are going swell. Aye. Things are definitely going. Okay, 30 to 34. Slowly winning this war. What the? So okay, I can't advance my on this trade strategy is going to be to pull Burma, basically Lhasa, to Bengal, to Doab, to Lahore, to Samarkand, and then Burma also into Bengal, and then pull as much of that up as I can. I think this will work out nicely, but I'm going to need to build a couple more marketplaces now. I do have a question, Dav. Yes. Oh. Um, are you able to call me into this war? If Sorry, talking to me? Yes. Are you able to call um, me into this war if you need the assistance? Maybe, or would you want to? What I mean, do you I get from, uh, what do you get from could. fighting? Sorry? Second. I mean, uh, sorry, I can't hear you too well, however. I think I'll put your volume down too low. So I think you were saying you wanted me to call you into this war, but I don't understand why exactly. Unless you just feel sorry for me. Hello? Are you still there? Hello? Oh. Can anyone hear me? I can hear you. Yes, sir. Hobo's not talking. I think. Yeah, I can't hear Hobo. Yeah. He might have just gone off to get some water or something. Uh. Apologies, had a... Oh, hello. Uh, that would explain why you stopped responding. Literally the worst time. Um. I mean, you could probably call me in just to fight Bengal, because fighting Bengal would uh, weaken someone that I have fought in the past and therefore have ire against or something. Um, sure. Well, uh, let's see. How are we fighting Bengal, by the way? Um, I, you would probably be better declaring a direct war against Bengal. Yes, yes. A second third partner. Uh, thing is, I want to wait like a year before I do that so that my manpower can recover a little bit first. Yeah, of course. Um, okay, yeah, so, Hobo, I can call you in if you really want to be called in. Um, yeah. Certainly could do this. Okay.
Okay, well, thank you. Um, yeah, should I promise land to you? I'm wondering. Uh, I don't think there. Well, I mean, I guess technically I would be. In, technically, if I were an AI, I would be interested in islands. But you know what? You, you know what? I found what we can fight for. I can fighting this for control of the Maldives. <laughs> uh, Maldives. Where? Where are they? I should know this. You, you already took them oh. from, from uh, uh, Niger, but uh, you could cede them to me in the as. Oh sure, that's that's fair. If uh, yeah, as uh, I shall fight long and hard for uh, a snowy rock in the ocean. A snowy rock. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm pausing. Three, two, one. You go. You guys good to go? Very good. Yeah. I'm just not accepting it this second because my army would immediately be in a fight and I don't want it to oh. be in a fight this second. just needs like a month. But yeah, I could be fighting for a snowy rock, um, but unfortunately Argentina doesn't exist. Also, I am, uh... We saw today. Ooh, a herd of caribou. Six. Six caribou off the side of the road. Including one that's got a tank. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Well, did you bring one home for dinner? Yeah, Hobo wants to know if you brought it home for dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you see, we're, we're mostly having moss and lichen for dinner tonight, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's coming over. Wait, you weren't suggesting we eat our guest, were you? <laughs> well, they would look a little skinny. It's pretty late in the season. That's yeah, really cool. <laughs> uh, it's nice to be actually able to win battles in this game. Uh, it's, it's kind of a new experience for me. <laughs> like major pitch battles. I must be doing something right. So the only problem I made for uh, Leon is that uh, they have zero religious stability. They have bad legitimacy because I put a relative on the throne, and apparently they have. Neg a negative stability too. Mm. <laughs> um, but apart from that, yeah, the whole nation wants to uprise from under them. But you know, it's fine. Oh, I just remembered the uh, mercenary sort of thing. Yeah, uh, you have and... a lot of professionalism. You really don't want to. Uh, well, I might be handy here in the north because I'm struggling to recruit troops fast enough. Um, oh yeah, but every mercenary you recruit lowers. Think about it this way: every mercenary you recruit is clicking slack and recruiting standards. Oh, okay. Uh, well, so you can use it, but it's a bit of a desperation move. I see. So it will take you a long time to recover it. If you do it. But if it helps you win a war, you'd honestly probably spend more time recovering from the war. Oh man, how's Moscow? Yeah. Sir? Yeah. Plus, at this late Big stage battle. in the game, mercenaries yeah. are really expensive. It might have been, honestly, but he was really leaning on it. Okay, because, like, the whole road has been cleared. Well, yeah, yeah. That, that was the gr that was creator that came by this morning. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. I did. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Oh. Wipe them. Hello, tear. Yes. Yes, uh, currently Japan is invading Russia. Because Tibetan Russia is just not enough.
Oh, just wiped. Oh, yes. So, that's good. Oh, I suppose that shall help uh, upgrading the boats to fight the British. It's a token of our appreciation. <laughs> I do notice these uh, 60,000 tank troops helping to liberate my nation. I figured that would be the most valid thing to do at this time. Plus, uh, me being in this war and it being all over the news distracts from the fact that uh, I'm converting uh, a, the Southeast Asian culture over here to Cantonese. Uh-huh. <laughs> no! Well, I guess that's fine. Oh, talking of no, I just realized uh, I've had half my army ambushed in um, Sumatra. Oh well, yes. I'm going to have to bring some reinforcements over. That's right, VJ doesn't have a lot of its cores. Mediocre. I was going to rescue VJ, but... Um, oh, did they get killed? They are about to be. I just got word from that Deccan is about to Should we guarantee me. it then? Oh. Eh. I'll probably just go punch them a little bit later. Get Madurai or something. A more useful nation. Man. I think I just lost 30 to 40, 40k troops wiped in Sumatra. Mm -hmm. I was paying attention because I couldn't see any um, Malakin armies at all. And suddenly they have a 100,000. I don't know where they came from. And now I have 25,000. Uh, mercenaries. Or 35,000 mercenaries, at least. Oh, right. Well. Man, you have broccoli up in the far north. Yeah, yeah, we have broccoli you... and peppers. All sorts of things. So you need to be in green, uh, greener land in order to have those grow. Or is this still being guaranteed by anyone? I'm going to go siege out the uh, old players in this. So you can focus entirely on Sumatra. Thank you. I'm sending over another 40,000 troops right now. Yeah, I pro should probably uh, raise some more troops as well. Oh, this is great. Tirhut, Orissa, and Assam are all allying and supporting each other. Um, Smart move right there. Ooh, what's a re sure a rebellion you got over there? Um, Leon, it's a good thing that uh, well, ninety percent of the Chinese army is still over there. Oh, I think on the uh, the Indian nations retreated back to uh, India. Um, that's probably because I see Tibet is now in advancing in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes, Tibet is indeed. Uh, my herd is on the move, sire. Oh, much appreciated. Um, I might actually be able to send some troops over that way if if they're needed. 
Uh, and, uh, depends on how long it takes to siege. Oh man. Jesus Christ, the size of Bengal's capital. 42. Still not as big as 60 on Lhasa, which takes 200 to develop. We're very proud of it. That is, I think, the biggest territory in the world, actually. Oh, nice. Okay, so this war is going to put me at war with Bengal, Assam, and Orissa. Or I could attack Assam, and it would put me at war with Changsheng, Delhi, and Tirhut. Or I could attack Orissa, and that would get me into war with them. Okay, this is perfect. This is all the people who annoy me. Ooh, all in one up. lovely package. Fighting a very, very close battle in Sumatra right now. Um, about 100,000 troops altogether, 50k each side. I have a very, very slim advantage in morale right now, but it could go either way. It looks like a disintegrating, actually. I think I got this. Yeah. I got this. Wow. By the way, I'm going to spill your secret, Daft. What's that? Um. The Cambodian capital is 62, therefore it's better than the Tibetan. Oh, uh, I, I was trying to keep quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... There we go. I I had... it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that hurts. Hurts me mentally. Potentially, physically. Hurts me mentally, remember. dentally, and physically. I don't even remember when I converted these, but I'll take it. So, I had fetish to zealots rise up, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. They managed to walk over to Sunni Kilwa and converted it to fetishes. Mm -hmm. Which helps me because... It's easier to convert fetishism than it is to convert Sunni. This battle made decide the whole fight. Oh, 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 thanks. I didn't realize you were still fighting Russia. Oh, God. They yeah. want to white peace, but I refuse. <laughs> How? Seriously, they want to white peace. I'm seeing like almost all of Russia is occupied by Japan. Well, I exaggerate slightly. The but, problem is I'm, yeah. I'm fighting for war score, uh, battle scores, and it have not gone that well. Uh. Oh, it's bad. Come on, move faster, move faster, guys. For what is this worth? Um, let me move out that just in case. Um, I think you can probably piece Bengal out. Because I just siege their capital, and since Tibet is fighting... What them, up? Um, Tibet is rolling in. So Tibet's doing a separate war, right? So uh... I'm doing an entirely unrelated war that is coincidentally happening at the same time. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, you can probably just piece them out for money and what war reparations they'll have. Um, I could just take all the money that they have. Um, that that works for me. You, yeah, um, you should get some of this. Uh... Okay. I have a whopping um. zero percent war score apparently. I got you got seven hundred and forty five ducats. I got five of them. What? <laughs> oh I was not expecting that. I do apologize. That's fine. It's kind of assuming you get more than that. Just a little bit. No, all I've done is re-siege. You've been fighting, sieging, and bleeding. Yeah. I wish the game could have took into consideration that liberating, re-sieging can be pretty huge. It doesn't give you any any war score, really. I guess I can always send you some more money.
Yes, they held it. Nice and good. Might stack wipe this. Stack. Ooh, yes. Britain, are you sure you want to guarantee the independence of a nation bordering the Ottoman? Is this really mm, what you want to do? I think it. I think it is. And uh, yeah, just say when you're good to go back up to full speed. By the way. Not quite yet. Yeah, me neither, I'm afraid. Uh... Alright, my Tibetan payment has expired, so now the money can go back into the more important economy. My economy. <laughs> I need more buildings to house more soldiers. Go die in the fields, I mean, what? Gusharat fighting. Oh, Gusharat's fighting Khmer as well. Just need one more percent of war score. Come on, guys. That cannon insulted me. Jerks. I, I just know. can't believe it. <laughs> Wait, okay, let's see if I can... Oh, damn it, just flip below, okay. Also, I forget how much longer you uh, silly silly Europeans have. Oh god. Come on. Come on guys, run! Run! Run, Forrest, run! Oh, this is actually quite bad. Maybe. Hot tip. Don't die. It is bad for your health. Hold it! Yes! I think I finally did it. No, not my Inquisitor. Confucianist Inquisitor is already an oxymoron. I need more. I don't know. Have you, have you ever read any of the Analects? They're pretty, like, these freaking Buddhists, man, am I right? See, here's the thing. Confucian isn't supposed to convert land, like, at all. But I'm very stubborn. At 45%. Of course, that's what we should do now. Having converted so much land basically constantly makes my development cost 25% more expensive and lowers tolerance of 2 phase. 
because you're supposed to harmonize with them, not convert them, but screw that. Mm. And the words of a wise philosopher, forget that noise. I might have said a different word than forget. <laughs> okay, question, how much of the Russia I have do you mind me taking? Oh, I Are mean, you planning not, um, on taking I mean, anything in European Russia? Uh, like, not yet. I think that I think that that should be fine. Like, uh, I can't call it though. Yeah, just 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 grab all your stuff as far over as you want. Like, you can go to the um, is that the Ob or the Lena River? I forget what it, the Ob. Like, all the stuff up to the Ob is totally fine. I think. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, uh, let's yeah, see here. That seems cool. Yeah. Like, just I honestly think... push your way across. I don't. I don't really care too much about that stuff. I was sort of thinking that we might have Baikal as the border so that you've got all the gear in, but if you want to push into Siberia, like, ultimately that doesn't really matter because it'll push into stuff that I'll eventually own anyways. Yeah. Like, it's just like, take this. So uh, I say then, prioritize then the border the gear in mode, and then just yes. push as far over as you can. I will, I will get a lot of uh, the Siberia note from this, but uh, it, it is like basically the prettiest borders I can do, I think. So I think I'll do this. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Uh, return course to Norway. Mm -hmm. I don't want the superpower. But yes, we're doing it. You and I together are returning Norway's glory. <laughs> yes, land to Norway. Oh, I can't do much of this. Okay, let's see. Also, do you find it funny that Livonian Order is in Gotland and Bratsburg? Yeah. Uh, what's this province? Just like go. Oh, I can't really return anything of Norway, I think. I'll just take money. Okay. Wait, I think I can revoke course in Tibet, right? No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay. All right. Oh, I got a mission done. Okay. Well done. And the land is so shit, I'm not. It doesn't cost any cost any over extension. Okay. All right, troops. Time to walk forever, I guess. Yay, walk walk all the way back, guys. And now Japan is no, neither Manchuria, Kamchatka, or Japan. It's now Siberia. <laughs> okay, I just need to select wow. all of my troops. Just right-click here. Somewhere. We're okay, let's do this area. That's beautiful. Well done, Japan. Okay. It only took, like... Actually... Oh, I didn't click the, the peace treaty. Is there a way to get the window up again? Because, okay, let's see. Actually, uh, just a moment. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, no, I just want to see how many died here. If that's okay. Sure. I'm gonna guess here. half a million. Pimping mm. gal. Almost here. Yeah. How does he this event again? I can't see it again. Alright. Uh, does it need to be paused for this? I'm just looking through the docks and see if I can get it back up. It's fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just because I'm using, like, running through the lock and it takes forever to find it. So it's basically just that. You can go back up to speed too now. Nice, I just wiped Spurnai's army. Nice, and uh, Russia just rivaled me again. Ho, 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 ho. He's uh, that was actually kind of overkill on my part against Spurnai. Wow, this is, this is new to me. What is happening? 
saying that there is truly no kill like over. <laughs> okay, so 46% of Japan is revolutionary at this point, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, so wow. That sounds like sounds quite like a significant. Much. A significant amount. Yeah, it's basically all of mainland Japan that is. Oh, revolution is almost in Changsheng. Come on, Changsheng. They come revolutionary. Fulfill your destiny. You had a purpose after all. Changsheng's <laughs> purpose, embarrassing as it is. What is my purpose? To be killed. Your purpose is to become oh revolutionary God. so that we can uh, justify doing. Uh, uh, yeah. Doing tragic I, so things. see, Hobo, aren't you glad that we? Oh God. Uh, no, because I don't think it'll actually do what you guys are thinking it'll do, either way. But I, I never play with evolutions, like the mechanics are used to up ages since, yeah. I am crushing Malika's army, finally. Took a long time to assemble enough troops. Didn't stab quite them, but they are firmly beaten. Gujarat thinks it can invade me. I've got news for you, buddy. I've got... 70,000 troops on the way from Brunei. Got news for you, buddy. Okay, now they're more <laughs> Well, thanks for mentioning it. Thanks. By the way, you could probably peace out Gujarat now before they teach your land. Actually, man, do you mind for pause for a moment? I, uh, I did say speed 2 was fine now, if that's what you're talking about. No, the uh, revolutionary. The revolutions have come back to me again. I did say that also. Okay, gotta piece up the nine. Maybe I just need to piece up Bengal for something. I only got three targets from Brunei, but uh... he didn't break their alliance with uh, the Ottomans. Oh, <laughs> nope. I yeah, I forgot I could do that. Oh well. That's fine. I'll just fight the Ottomans next time. Yeah. Casual. There's definitely something wrong with me. I want to. I want to fight Russia again. Feeling of power. Like that. I just randomly got like fifty percent war score out of nowhere. I think it's minus twenty-five percent from like the battles, and then some supports maybe. I'm not quite sure. Are we good to unpause, by the way? Uh, Aye. Uh, it says paused by Hobo. Okay. Yeah. Since uh, a few people have probably looked over there, uh, take a look at uh, Africa. It's slowly filling out. Neat. I see that the British have made... Oh, actually, we are actually going to get all of Africa colonized this time. They're gonna try, anyway. Well, it's also like hey. uh, the colonies in, uh, in Sahara and stuff. Yeah, they just haven't yet convert colonized the territory between them and Tunis. Yeah. I so yeah, wipes all of Mark's army, it looks like. And, uh... Technically, I would need to fight Killa more to colonize two whole territories in Somalia. Run, soldiers, run! Run, soldiers! Deccan is now attacking Gujarat. Huh? Aggressive little gits that they are. 
Uh, speaking of, you can probably piece up Gujarat from our war, Daft. Um, sure. Spreading. Oh, revolution starts spreading again in the mainland. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, actually, uh, yeah, I, I was going to ask why I don't have 100% of the Sabalaka, but I realized there's one island which I haven't conquered. Anyway, uh, sorry, do you mind if I pause for a moment and... Uh, yes, yes, we do. You have to go at max speed all the time. Uh, so, good your rats. Um, super peace. Should I just get money from them? Do you want anything else? There isn't really anything else. Uh, sure, okay. Sorry about that. I got four. <laughs> Apparently they, they lost uh, 250,000 troops. Uh, oh wait. No, that was us. We lost 250,000 troops. They lost 20,000. That can't be right. Anyway, we won. That's the main thing. Yeah, I lost at, I lost at least one and a half million troops there, I think. Honestly. That's okay. They're only peasants. They were only peasants. It is now at 48%. Well, I didn't ask for this, dang it. Trying to attack Iceland. Congratulations on trying to destroy one. Wait, can I? Uh... Yeah. Hmm. What would 150% over extension do to me? <laughs> oh, hey, what the heck? I just noticed that Arissa was like cruising over in Central Asia. I'm like, why is there. Why did I have any war score?
I like how there's so few Catholic nations that every single province of Portugal has a uh, cardinal in it. Because there's nowhere else for the cardinals to go. Lol. Oh. Uh, wow, I actually used all my manpower. Two hundred and thirty thousand. I mean, you honestly didn't need to get a hundred percent war score. You probably could have pieced out like a year ago. Uh, okay. Well. Fuck you, Florida. Yeah. More revolution. God. Okay, apologies guys, I'm just seeing what I can get from Malaki. 49.50%. When does revolution stuff fire actually? Uh government tab. Yeah, but like else over there. Does it need to spread to one hundred percent or something? There's a revolutionary hat there on the government tab, yeah. and I don't know what it means because I can't because I'm I have a mandate of heaven, so yeah. I would never embrace it, so I can't actually see the requirements. It says that so I can embrace it at, at 100% or something, um, which I don't, like, I want to put it down, it's just, I'm not sure how, like, my, my situation is not good. Well, uh, Chaos is also not looking too great in regards to that. What do you mean I'm not looking also, too great? Uh, revolution stuff is just a uh, revolutionary monks. Yeah, you know. it's annoying, but quite happy with that. Thank you, uh, guys, for your help. There's still quite a big marker in the corner of Brunei to I'm conquer, awesome, but uh, making there? progress. Okay, I'm pausing. I guess. I think we're gonna take Shiak and in into Rakiri at some point. How much did um, you take? Uh so I took the uh, all of Malaysia, a few islands to south of Malaysia, and uh, more provinces to the north of Singapore. That was a hundred percent war score. Uh, yep. Well, I guess some places like the capital. That's yeah. why you took the capital, so it cost you extra. Yeah. And like, you should have been able to take more of that. I mean, I know their provinces are highly developed. Yeah, no, that was 100%. Yeah, taking a capital costs extra. Yeah, I'll take a look at this one. Like golden arrow. Well, that's actually timely in a sense. Wait, what? I got this imperialism on Japan again. What the hell? Did ah. No, not Japan. Sorry, uh, it's Iceland. Yes. Ah. So Norway, Norway, Norway conquered just Iceland. Died to Iceland. I think no. I think Norway conquered Iceland and then formed Iceland. Oh. Wait. Oh, I thought you were releasing a bunch of Norway. I didn't see that. No, I couldn't do that. Like uh, they were angry. Mm, I see. Apparently. Yeah, they, uh, they had a problem Norway with that. Norway just so. conquered Iceland and said, you know what, I'm Iceland now. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. How, how dare you do the meme at the same time as me? I am most offended by whatever I'm supposed to say. There can only be one. Which is also a hint at what my next plan is going to be. Scotland. 
Wait on me. There can be only one. Can appreciate oh, okay. the uh, awful Scottish accent that probably just caused uh, Daft to twinge. Uh, no, I won't. I can't make accents myself, so I'm not going to judge. Oh, hey there, I see you stood right where the rebels are going to pop up. Next to Assam. So this is strange. I've had a ton of rebellions since making peace. I would have thought that more, I'd be more likely to get rebellions during wartime. But I'm not complaining, but it seems a bit odd. Uh, well, you got plus seven from the overextension. Oh, of course, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which... Uh... Oh god, I'm getting multiple revolts every month. This is bad. Did you go happen to go over a hundred, a hundred percent over extension? Um, most likely, I haven't even checked. Mm. I feel like Maybe it's just as well I uh, I didn't take any more territory. Yeah, check your stability and expansion right now. Yeah, I'm at uh, 145. Although, I've got a ton of provinces already in the process of being made, of course, but it's going to take a while. That's fine. And, um, I can sustain my armies at maximum uh, maintenance, and uh, I'll just be in a permanent state of whack-a-mole <laughs> for a few years. It does make me idly wonder how much whack-a-mole they're actually going to include in Victoria 3, since if I recall, that was rather infamous for that, and mm. I'm still not a huge fan of modern paradox balancing decisions. So I thought you had to have 20 development in order to uh, in order to build a furnace, but apparently you don't need 20 development, and as long as the enlightenment's there, you can do it. Is that correct? Uh, just... uh no, oh, it actually. should need Well, have a look at one of my provinces here. Um... Oh, you have a lot of innovativeness. Yeah. Yeah, have a look so at that uh, sets your leg. 20 development or 20 innovativeness. Ah, okay. 
Which so I've met it because I have lower development but have enough innovativeness. That makes sense. Oh, it's a tall tondo servitist. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, I can't go to. So what if I go to Bukalas? Yes. Of course, they could pop up on the island. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I think it just moved in on this. I don't really know what happened. I wasn't really paying what attention. What a meme. What a joke. Jesus Christ, I thought you lost your OX station. Yeah. Uh, who, who me? It was, yeah. it, it was about 140. Alright, well, that makes sense. Uh. I'm debating if I want to deal with a year of 120% overextension or just drag out this war longer and devastate the lands I'm going to have in a bit. What do you think? Eh, the devastation is funny. The lands the land are never recovered by the time. The game devastation is funny. What, what, say that again, Hobo? Uh, just devastate the lands. It's not going to be fully recovered by the get time the game's over anyway. Oh my, well if now isn't the absolutely per- why- Why is it the French Iroquois Imperialist War? God dang it. Oh wow, the Iroquois are actually pretty large. You guys seen their size? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The uh, coastline, and it's Norwegian. And it's accepted culture in Norwegian. Oh, biscuit bros, that's a lot. Uh, what is there? Navy again. Is that like, oh my god, it got bigger. Oh my god, the Navy got bigger. Uh, if I can at least cross into the mainland Britain, I don't care if I can't uh, care about the boats. Uh, just heads up, I'm going to need to get to sleep fairly soon. Oh, okay. uh, I've already gone a bit past my bedtime, actually. Okay. Well, uh, um, well whatever everyone's doing can always be wrapped up mm -hmm. with reasonable speed, I think, right? Yeah, well, if we could... Um, would, like, 15 minutes be okay? Uh, if yeah. we call it, like, half past the hour? Instead of going after Britain, I may end up just having to get a thicker navy. Sick. Thick. Going to try. <laughs> Do you like me ha saying the term thicker navy? Oh, of course. Slam! Portugal allied the pirates. So did Spain. How does that even work? We'll let you exist as long as you don't raid us. Even though we literally cover the entirety of the land that you can raid, besides like two British islands. Oh god, I just got like a. I was so afraid I 
just accidentally took a cold province there, but I see that Iggy got it. If you didn't have it already. That's good. Uh, it's a... Uh, what is it even? It's a uh, Kuznets. You know, I can appreciate the hustle on uh, developing an arctic forest to 33 development. <laughs> uh, who did that? Was that Yokoa? Esther Khan, yeah. Oh, Esther Khan did? Yeah, that was probably Solon who did most of that, I'm guessing. Because I see that was Solon's old land. So long, farewell. I have uh, conceded to go full co full conversion and uh, have gone religious ideas, so that way I can convert faster. It's like a very good call. All right, everything is about to finish annexing. All right. Well, uh, I profited very handsomely off of that war. The amount of Bengal that's Bengali is now none of it, which is very... Oh, wait, no, they've got one <laughs> Bengali province left. Bishnapur. The devastation map is kind of funny, like just Russia and, well, Japan at this point, I guess, technically. Like, it's... And the just massive green that is... And this thing. Yeah. The time has come to annex Nogai. 
or Nuggy, as he's known to his friends. I think my income has like plummeted by like 100 ducats a month or something. Oof. I also have a terrible realization. Mm -hmm. Um, in four years, yeah, there's ten years. I was looking at something else in four years. Industrial realization. Somebody show me. Thinking about ten years, the final institution will come in. What is that institution again? Oh, no one. That uh, is industrialization. Industrialization, right. Crimea is willing to hunt pirates. Okay. I guess we technically share, like, an ocean, or a sea at least, because we both board to the Caspian. In a state, connect to the capital, not an island. Has at least 30 development. Is in the highest valued trade node in the world, or is at least 1760. Uh, the years before 1780, and Real Britannia DLC is enabled, has a furnace, uh, it either has iron, cloth, or coal. Manufactory or textile. Huh, so it looks like it's gonna pretty much be able to pop up in anywhere. Yeah, I don't have a capital called province. I think if someone has that, they probably pretty much say that. Okay, when I say basically anywhere, um, it's not going to pop up in Japan because it can't pop up in an island. <laughs> oh, it actually didn't say that here. So hang on, it I can't don't... spawn in the UK if it can't spawn on an island? Just it can't spawn in Japan. Like, Japan doesn't count as an island for this, let's see. I did like to check. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, it's not an island. Where is it again? Yes, Echison is not an island. Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that was not on purpose. Okay, let's see here. I... Okay. Um, probably I'm at war with Holland now. Let's see how much do they have. Oh. Dutch, Mexico, Dutch, a lot of stuff. Uh, Dutch, Mexico. Basically, they all suck except for. Um, Ugh. Okay, anyways, so we, all of you guys, I guess, move to, uh...
I'm not involved with the whole room emperor because it was like quote unquote a lifted wall or something. Yes. Hang on, I just said the revolution has been put to an end at least for now. Yes, it says on me too. Huh. Weird. Huh. How did uh, how did that happen? Maybe Strange. no one no one embraced it. Uh it seems suspect. I don't think it's like technical button hold. I think it has to do with like. Wait, what's going on here? Why is it? Oh my god, yeah, don't do that. Jesus Christ. I can see you put there. My trade feed is so big, it's just kicking ass. Oh, I'm logging. Hmm. Yeah. Well, um, would this be a good time to uh, save up, Vegas? Uh, yeah, this could be a good time for me to is save just up. A Two more weeks or something, I need to merge a fleet so I don't do the same mistakes I just did. Sure. But I'm fine. I'm now down to 28% overextension. So. Woo! Yeah. Ready for the next war, I guess. Go convert to bet! Dang it, stop converting my stuff! What? No, we don't need any of this, man. <laughs> I'm actually regaining soldiers now, which is good. Oh man, my maximum manpower has fallen so much. Yes, I mean. Okay, just need these two. Arbitral to needs combat here, yeah, I see. And. I am now ready to uh, pause. Uh, just a sec, I'm going to do a little thing. Personally, I am really happy I managed to get the um, soldiers' households up in the places that they're good for. So that way I can actually have manpower as everything converts to revolutionary. Yeah, same here, I guess, but still. Oof. Um, I have a uh, diplomatic diplomatic thing for you, Hobo. Cool. I'm going to see if you remembered or not. <laughs> I did remember. It took a while for me to remember, but... Well, I'm, I'm good to finish up here if you guys are. I, uh... I'm at peace. Uh, I just I'm protected Ardabil. Somewhat. Someone, someone uh, was yeah. with Artabil, I immediately offered them Condottieri, and then someone made peace with them. So they realized that they didn't want to have to deal with uh, an elite 20, uh, 20 strong unit of Tibetans. I can actually do oh. something completely ridiculous to have in this war. It's 
So uh, are we good to pause here? I uh, my brain can't really take anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's a uh, half past one in the morning here. I should probably get to bed. Yeah, one thing, because my boats didn't move when I thought they did. So I just want to unite them together. Uh, uh. I know, such a boring person. So yes, getting Samarkand as my uh, trade mode is going to be very nice. Uh, the next goal is to ultimately push up to Astrakhan and Kazan. If I can get all of my stuff flowing into Kazan, that could be pretty nice. Oh, I just noticed in the uh, point score, I've overtaken Russia and Great Britain during the session. How did the... Uh, uh, Tibet is number two behind... Ottomans and ahead of How am I ahead of China. China? That's uh, fine with me. Because you are large, I guess. There's I'm large, bunch of yes. Indian, uh, Indian stuff. I think it's I guess, I guess it's from stealing Indian land. Mm. Like, I did take a very large chunk out of Bengal. Yeah, I've got like 45 provinces from one of the... 45 diff to just one of these. 42. 22, 20. And of course a bunch of tents. All right, I am uh, ready if everyone else is. Yep. Yep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oof. Not that I'm going to so... fall for the trap that happened in uh, Warhammer. Oh, haha. <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> I, I loaded with an auto save, and it doesn't make you know, many auto saves in, to in Total Warhammer. So uh, after, yeah, I made chaos... I made a tactical error because of a misunderstanding of how like an area worked. I thought I had to keep on attacking because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna starve to death if I stay here, so I have to keep on going. So I went into a dangerous attack and lost, and uh, then I got totally killed as I tried to flee. <laughs> And then yeah, that and the totally wiped out the save. Although, I think yep. I might, if we can go to the last autosave, I might be able to, like, put my fleet in a different direction, maybe? Eh, I don't think it will end up working like that. It's fine. But, yes, game saved. Uh, ready for map picture taking. And, I've uh... already taken them and posted them. Oh, cool. Oh, GG, guys. Thank you. Yes. GG, Nori. Yeah. The bombs I expand. Quite like my uh, Africa. Hey, Africa. Yeah. And it's... I might take all of Canada uh, next session. I might wrestle Iceland. We'll see. I think I'll oh, take yeah, all that's, of Canada. That's nice having having Karagwe, Antimoro, Kazembe, and Congo as your little friends. Yeah. That pay me. Uh... Oh, yeah, I should probably Are you going to get Kilwa the... next? Uh. I could, but they would hate me forever because most of the land that I've taken is Kilwa. Ah, <laughs> uh, right, right. And uh, they border the Ottomans, so thanks. I don't think I will. Yeah, that's um, fair. Uh, I'm probably going to end up like going into the Ottomans fairly soon. You recall me mentioning uh, Great Britain multiple times? I am yeah. still attempting to try and do the goal of uh, balkanizing Great Britain. And um, I don't oh. feel too strongly about that. Tributarying the lot. Freedom for Scotland. All they have to do is just pay their opium dues to China. <laughs> uh. I feel like this would be a very good time for me to vassalize Gujarat. The thing is, with yes. Congo, Kazembe, Karaguena tomorrow, I get a no whole. Allies. Yeah, dude, I should, I should, uh, um, imperialism Gujarat right away. Get them as a forced vassal. Because I'm just then, about to drop below my vassal cap again. Yeah, that's yeah, you, could, you could use that to fight Deccan. Exactly, and then use Gujarat and just punch everything out of Delhi and Deccan. And then I could probably come and punch Deccan to get Madurai out of them. 
Yeah, uh, I like the sound of that. Take the south. We'd do separate wars for it. Cause, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, okay. But, but... Uh, so, next session, my plan is... Uh... It's going to be Gujarat. This is for your own good. This may be painful to you, but I assure you it's more painful to me. No, it's not! You're right. This is just going to be painful for you. I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm going to log off chat immediately because I got to pee. I'm also going right. to walk out and get some food for once. Well, I'll finish up the video here then. There we go. Fun times, guys. Big Tibet. Hey. A GG. Big Tibet. I'll see you guys.